Once I worked with a famous, brilliant, intimidating CEO who was not vulnerable, was not, nobody ever disagreed with him, nobody ever told him the truth. He was a famous guy, you've seen, you, you, you probably know who he is if you know high tech. And um, he was at a different company before and nobody ever disagreed with him because they were too afraid. He was not vulnerable, he would not acknowledge, he made any mistakes, anything. So they didn't tell him the truth. And so the, the head of HR went to him and said, listen, you gotta do something to open up to your team better so they can be more trustworthy and more open with you. And he didn't really wanna do anything, but he finally agreed that the only thing he was willing to do was 360 feedback. And you know what that is, where you get, I don't love 360 feedback. I think there's better ways to do it. I think there's more affirming, honorable things way to do it. But sometimes that's all people do, and that's okay, that's okay. But um, whatever the case is, they had my little firm. This was my first big client. And so we administered this tool and we gave it to, the, to everybody to fill out on the team. And then we got the results back and we gave the results to the CEO. And he proceeded to share those results with no one. And so the head of HR, God bless her, she went to him and said, listen, you gotta tell people what you learned. I mean, at least they gotta learn, they took the time to fill it out. He goes, okay, I'll do that. I'll go, at the next meeting, I'll go over my results and what I could get better at. And then, he, then I said, yeah, I should probably be there just in case. And he was like, oh, okay, you know, reluctantly. He goes, you can come. And so I sat off to the side on a little chair with wheels on the bottom, which will become relevant here in just a second. <laughs> and he stood up in front of his team and said, okay, it says here I'm not a very good listener. Huh, what do you guys think? And, and again, this is one of those non-fiction moments that you can never write in a fiction book because nobody would believe it. Because I remember this well. They went around that table saying, no, I think you listen well. I think you're a good listener. Yeah, I don't have a problem. Like, Every person at the table. And I remember, and if you know anything about my books, all of them but one are fiction. I write fiction stories to get my points across. And I remember thinking, okay, this is something that will never make it into one of my books because nobody believes this. And so he got done and he was like, okay, good. I'm glad you guys don't think that's a problem. <laughs> Next, it says I don't give enough feedback or praise. Gosh, I thought I'd gotten better at that. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, I think you're good at it. I think you've gotten a lot better. I don't have a problem with it all around the table. And I'm sitting there on my little chair thinking, wow, if I have any integrity as a, as a consultant, I have to lose a client here or put one in jeopardy, right? So I get on my little chair and I'm like, eek, eek, eek. And I scoochie up, I roll up right next to this famous CEO and I'm like, excuse me, everybody, I'm sorry, but um, you're the only people who filled this out. <laughs> so somebody in here had to say this. <laughs> and so it was very quiet for a few minutes till the head of marketing, poor guy, slowly raised his hand. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and he goes, yeah, I, I'd like to get more, I mean, my team would like to get more feedback from you. They only hear from you when they screw up, and I think it would be nice if they, if, if, if they did something well if you would give them praise for that or feedback. I, I, I wrote that on my form. I, I can vouch for that. Super quiet. Till the head lawyer goes, not me. I think you give plenty of feedback. I don't understand what he's talking about. And everybody else is like, yeah, I don't see it. I don't have a problem with that. And they just killed the guy. The point of that story is that's the day that CEO sent a message. That first of all, I lost credibility. Secondly, he sent a message to everybody, listen, I'm not gonna be vulnerable, ever. So you guys probably shouldn't. 